Okay, so I'm starting to get a, a uh, intermittent parking assist fault. Uh, it says uh, it's up on the instrument panel. It says service parking assist, and the parking assist are these sensors right here. You've got four on the front bumper, four on the back bumper, and it's so that whenever you're pulling up, uh, well, the front ones are so when you're pulling up to something, and you, if you start getting close, you know, to an object, it comes up on your display. The rear ones are the same thing, but when you're backing up. And let me show you what I've got. Let's, uh, I'm gonna, that dingin' buzzer, to shut that up, I hit the door latch. And that makes the car think that the uh, door's closed. So basically what I got is whenever I start the vehicle, And whenever you go to, uh, when you go to reverse, both your front and the rear on the Silverado come on for the parking assist. Hopefully you can see that without too much glare. Um, when you go to drive, it's just the front. And as you can see, the front right already is not showing. Uh, an object. Now, okay, now, now, just started seeing seeing an object. So I'm going to go to reverse, just to, so it will activate the rear, because I want to show you an easy way to check this. And so, let me show you the scan tool data first. Okay, so here's the scanner. Uh, we're going to go to parking assist control module. And basically what I want to look at, we're going to look at the code. And what we got, parking assist front sensor right corner circuit. Too short, low time. Now when it says circuit, it's seeing a, uh, basically a wiring problem. Most of the time, it's the actual component that's that, that's having issues. The uh, the winding. I, I don't know how these are built. I know it's a three wire sensor. You've got a reference, you got a ground, and then you got a signal. And uh, so basically, what it's doing is it's sending out an ultrasonic pulse, and it's measuring the time it takes to get a uh, return signal from bouncing off of an object. So each one of these sensors are, are sending out an ultrasonic frequency depending on how much time it takes to make it back to the sensor uh, it calculates the time and it knows about how far uh, the object is from the from the sensor so now with the engine running sometimes you can hear these with your ear I can't I can't hear these the engine has to be running on this vehicle for these to be active and right now I've got it in reverse whenever it's in reverse both the front and rear are active. Uh, so right now, whenever you look up there on the display, it's showing that it is picking up some right-hand object and a little bit in the front. Then, of course, I'm kind of close to the to the house to to make that happen. Well, these should be pulsing at about a one-second rate. And to show you that, I'm going to go over here to the rear because there's not as much engine noise. Okay, what it is, I just downloaded this uh, sound meter app. And what we're gonna do is the mic right here on the end of the phone. Wherever your mic is on your phone, I don't know if that's showing up or not, but there's just a little tiny hole right there on the end of the phone. That's the mic. Turn this to where you can see it. So we're going to watch the dB meter, and we should have about a one second pulse from the sensor. I'm just going to hold the I'm going to hold the phone right here by the sensor. And I want you to watch that. I'm going to have to be quiet, but I want you to watch the the meter. Let me get stable here.
windy out here today, so it's probably going to pick up a lot of wind noise. I'm over here on the next sensor on the rear. And you see that pulse? That's what we're looking for to test these sensors. To see if these sensors are working. About a one or two second pulse. Just hold it right there, you know, right in front of the sensor, the mic. And you should see that pulse. Front should do the same exact thing. Now we'll go to the bad one here, or what I suspect is the bad one. See how we're not getting nothing on that one? But here's the next one. The next one. This one right here on the corner is definitely not working. And I hope that came through okay. But that's an easy way to check your sensors. Now, obviously, my next step is to get underneath this bumper, um, make sure the wiring's hooked up. Oh, and by the way, this sensor. It's got a little divot in it, like it's been hit with a rock or something. I don't know if that's what has knocked this sensor out or not. But more than likely, this sensor needs to be changed. Now, I'm going to pull the connector off. That's the next step you'd want to do is make sure the connector is all hooked up. You want to inspect your wiring, make sure your wiring is good and uh, all that good stuff. I'm going to disconnect the connector. I'm going to make sure I've got my ground, my 12 volts, and then uh, I'm going to check the, the, the si si signal wire going to the computer. And if all that's good, I'm going to order me a new sensor. The OEM sensors are about $200, uh, but you can get aftermarket ones for about $25. So I'll probably just put an aftermarket one in it and uh, give that a shot. But anyway, that's an easy way to check your sensors uh, on your vehicle with parking assist. And if you notice, even though that one was not working, there's four sensors out front, but you see there's only three bars that will show... Uh, an object now the one on the right should be showing the closest but you can kind of see how it's you know fluctuating a little bit in fact let me pull a little bit closer and we'll see how it works how it's acting pulling up a little closer see it's showing the middle as having the strongest signal it should be the right the right front should have this by far the strongest signal because it is, I'm, I'm kind of in here at an angle, and the right front is the closest part of the truck to the to the house. And right now, it's not even showing anything. And it's because that far right sensor is completely dead. So it's using the next one on the right hand side to be able to give this particular uh, display, you know, at least some amount of. Uh, indication that you're approaching an object but anyway the main object of this video was to show that you can download an app and use it use or, or you can if you have a db meter if you have a db a db meter a sound meter then uh you can use it to test your sensors but you got to make sure your system's activated on this truck it's actually got to be in uh 
it's going to be running and it's either going to be in reverse or drive for the uh, system to be active so if you're in park you're not going to have nothing anyway you guys take care